Behind me is the latest acquisition for the Australian War Memorial and this is the Talus made uh, Bushmaster. Uh, this Bushmaster was hit with an improvised explosive device uh, in 2012 in Afghanistan. Uh, you can see that there's been extensive damage done to the vehicle but as has been the case with all of the attacks on Australian diggers in Bushmasters in Afghanistan, uh, not an Australian has been killed in a Bushmaster to date although, uh, of course, a number of our men have been wounded in them. Uh, the Bushmaster will become one of four Bushmasters the Australian War Memorial will have, and one of our medium to long-term plans is to extend the Australian War Memorial so we can permanently exhibit this and other Bushmasters along with uh, those things that we are collecting from Afghanistan. The Bushmaster for Australian soldiers uh, is really the story of our contemporary conflicts, particularly Iraq and Afghanistan. The Bushmaster is for many of our soldiers what the Iroquois helicopter was for our diggers in Vietnam. It's a very, very important uh, device, a vehicle. Uh, it's protected our soldiers with uh, magnificent uh, engineering design and capability. This country owes an enormous debt to the engineers, designers and the builders at Talus Australia. Uh, based in Bendigo, uh, about a thousand of the Bushmasters have been made. And we have one of the first prototypes that was used in East Timor at the Australian War Memorial. Uh, this vehicle has gone through a series of developmental stages but its design and the way it's been built has saved the lives of around 300 Australian diggers. And uh, not only Australia, but them and their families are immensely grateful to them. Uh, we often think of the, the men and women that are out on the front line for us, but there are defence industries, there are engineers, designers, builders, in this case building the Talus Bushmaster here in Australia. Uh, you can see that the vehicle has a, a V-shape uh, at the bottom of it, which plays an extremely important role in defect, deflecting bomb blasts. Uh, the improvised explosive devices, uh, some of which you can see in the Afghanistan exhibition at the Australian War Memorial, are particularly potent. have taken the lives of uh, many of our NATO-led coalition troops, including Afghanistan. It is extremely important that all of us as Australians understand what Australian men and women have been doing in our name in our uniform. These men and women voluntarily risk their lives for us to protect and defend our interests and they do so in part in the Bushmaster vehicle and we owe it to them, we owe it to the families of the 40 men that have given their lives in Afghanistan, we owe it to the families of the 300 that have been wounded and many others that have returned, some 25,000 Australians have returned from the Afghanistan Middle East area of operation and we owe it to them to at least understand what they've done for us. It's also extremely important for the diggers themselves to know that their story is being told now and just some of the equipment, the vital piece of equipment, especially the Bushmaster, is on display in its damaged form at the Australian War Memorial.